Hello, it is Friday, March 1st, 2019. <coughs> Sorry. March 1st has always been my typical first ride of the year. Of course, as I get older, I'm getting a little more crazy, and I do first rides all winter, but March 1st has been the traditional beginning of the riding season for me. That's because when I first bought a bike, way back in 1991, I bought it around March 1st, and that year was a pretty warm year, because I got some decent riding weather in. And so that became when I would always go for a ride, and I usually do, although there have been some years when we've still had a decent amount, a fair amount of snow by then. This year we just have old nasty snow that won't go away because it's not warming up. Which, we have another week of really cold weather and then it's supposed to start getting more spring-like. I'd get my other bikes going, but this Sunday it's supposed to be negative 6 in the morning and only warming up to 15 or so. So I figure I really don't want to be storing batteries in that kind of weather at the where I keep my other bikes for storage. So I'll probably let those sleep for another week. Maybe next weekend I'll get them going. But the sun is staying up a little longer and doesn't, in the morning, we actually, I get some daylight on the way to work. So things are on the up. Right now it's about 32 degrees out. I do have the heated gear on, gloves and jacket liner, which make a huge difference. I don't have them on high, although I probably could turn them up a bit. They turned up a bit. Bike's feeling kind of jittery, but I remember that's just because of this section of road. It always feels like that here. We're going to put the heat on full. We'll check with Google on the temperature. Temperature. Thirty-three, which with heat isn't terrible. Probably be better if I weren't going as fast, but I'll be getting off the expressway soon. Um, soon is in five miles. One thing I think about at this time of year is, you know, if you had an accident and you couldn't ride for the rest of the season, that would really suck. But I haven't had an accident in 33 years, so hopefully I'm good.
actually more like 28 years, from 2019 to 1991. It's getting to be a happy time of year. And it's kind of depressing now because it's just not warm yet, but I know that it's coming. Been debating, do I want to stay with this kind of bike or do I want more of a traditional standard like I started on or do I want both? Getting both means that the standard would be an older, cheaper one. We'll see how that plays out in the next month or so. <clears throat> Bike feels good though. I've run it about every two to three weeks through the winter, so it's hasn't really been down. <clears throat> Old Camry, Magnum. Liberty and Cadillac, all older. Okay, so we got two more miles of expressway. One of my first tests of the new Senna 10C Pro that I've got on the camera, or on the helmet, and we'll see how good its picture quality is, and how good the battery lasts. I'm just going to let this record, so it's probably going to be a long, boring recording, but I'm hoping it is, just because I, I want the battery to keep going. This exit is becoming more and more suburban, but the next one is how far? Well, another five miles, but I'll get off and ride a bit west and then turn around and go east.
what we need is some good rain to wash all this salt away and the rest of the snow. This is the longest ride I've been on all winter. And I'm only 10 minutes from home. Come on. Why does it take everyone so long to accelerate? So this is what passes for a twisty near me. It's got some 60 mile an hour curves. Let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe five of them. They say, Illinois, 11 curves and 318 miles. Comparing that to the Dragon, which is 318 curves and 11 miles. I was going to go through this forest preserve, but I bet you, you can only go in the very front, so what's the point? They close most of them for the winter. But it's March 1st, only a little bit of winter left. Yeah, they definitely don't plow the road. I don't think I want to take the Vistrom on a icy, snowy road. Could take a quick drive in though and just see what's there. Curious how far they plow. Now that I'm going pretty slow, I can really feel the heat. Road closed for winter, December to March. They didn't do a good job of plowing this area.
see these exciting curves? Powers Road. Boat for sale? It is. Better not tell my son. He'll want it. We have a small boat.